for being here. Hi. Say hi to Bill Squire. He's right over there. Creepy hugs, everybody. Creepy, creepy hugs. And Mary Santora is in the room. Whoa! We don't have to worry about any technical issues today. Nope. Thank goodness. How did that situation, has that situation back in New York been resolved? Are the engineers still running around? I know you've been here. But... I have no idea. Yeah. I emailed the guy again, and I was like, hey, with everything going on the last two days, can I please be added to this email chain? So that way I can know when the studios are up and running. And he blatantly lied to me when he emailed back. He goes, nobody sent out an email yesterday to all of New York Radio. And I screenshotted it, circled where it said New York Radio. And I was like, yes, they did. Like, this is what was forwarded to me from another DJ. They did send it out, and he just replied back and was like, if you have technical issues, here's the email you need. So they are, like, really are digging their so heels in about not about adding it. me to it. Yeah. I was like, you're, you're lying. Like, it's right here and where it says it went out to everyone. we all work for the same company. Mm-hmm. It's the same company. I think this company. might be an HR issue. I think you might need to go to HR and be like, hey, I sh- I'm in this building. Right. I'm approved to work here. So I don't know what's going on. You have a key card that gets yeah. you in. Yep, to the both the building and the suite. Yep. Yeah. But, but this guy is like, nope. Sorry, no some, access. Some people who don't have much power, right? they want to exercise what little power they have. Yeah. But what a weird thing. Like, Why? For, he doesn't really care. That's what I'm saying. What, is he going to get in trouble with somebody? If I know if the computers are working? Nobody's <laughs> at the wheel <laughs> anymore. On, so know? who is he going to get in trouble with? Right. What do you mean you put Mary? I'm going to need to have, we have an all staff meeting today about Mary Santora (laughs) being on the New York email list. Because I was like, that's such a dumb thing to lie about. Unless he just assumed I wouldn't know. Right. Well, well, that's why he lied about it, because he thought you wouldn't know. And then you were able to call him out. It says it right here. But was that an email that he sent? No, it was from their programming department. Maybe he didn't know. This is why uh, maybe he didn't. Yeah, there, there's but a then slight chance. But if you chance. don't know to say, no, no email went out. Right. Well, you have no idea. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, well, if you have technical issues, here's email our engineering team. Yeah. Dude, you suck. I had to call uh, tech support this morning in here. I go, hey. Um, I called our on-air tech support, you know, mm-hmm. which is what you're supposed to, theoretically, if something happens while you're on the air, that's who you're supposed to talk to, and then sit there on hold until somebody comes out. Well, anyway, we weren't on the air yet, obviously. I'm just in here doing my stuff this morning, and the whole room shuts down. So, I mean, the network, not the board or anything like that, you know, um, but uh, the, clearly I'm disconnected from from the network. And so I do a hard reboot on these machines, and, and that doesn't change anything. And so I call our tech support, and I'm talking to a guy, and I go, hey, I'm just trying to confirm whether or not we're having network issues in Cleveland. And he goes in the thing, and he goes, no. And he goes, what studio are you in? And I said, C. And he goes, mm, yeah, they're only in C. Perfect. And I'm like, oh, great, because I'm the only person in a studio right now, and I'm in <laughs> Studio C. And he did the old, hey, reboot it. I go, I already did reboot it. I didn't do anything. Or reboot it again. again. That's what he yeah. said. Yeah. Reboot it again. Or he did something maybe on his end. He might have gone in and, and looked at what was going on and uh, did a probably a, a couple of clickety-clacks or something. But I was like, you know, I'm not going to call you until I've kind of done everything I know how to do, which mm-hmm. basically begins and ends with hard reboot Start of over. the machine. Because it does need to be done occasionally. Something like that almost never gets done. So sometimes you will just have to do that. But um, that didn't change anything. So anyway, he goes, yeah, it's it's just confined to your studio. I'm like, awesome. Perfect. <laughs> Thinking about you talking about everything's coming up Mary yesterday. So the flights went okay and everything? I yeah, mean, were, flights okay. are fine. I'm just having a, a rough week. Be, it's just a rough week being in New York. Mm-hmm. Everything's hard. Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying, where I'm just like, it's just a tough. I had a weird interaction at a comedy club last night. And it's been, like, kept me up last night. Really? Oh, wow. Because I've just been over playing it over and over and over again in my head. Weird with someone you've worked with before? Yes. Okay. Someone who I thought was a friend of oh, mine. Oh, This wow. is where the showbiz knives come out. Well, Ooh, Bobby so Pitts came to a show and he did. Oh, I my know. God. What he, a piece of crap. And he blamed all of the issues on me <laughs> yeah. somehow. And he said, this is why you're not on the email list. <laughs> 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 it was a crazy experience. Oh, um, that's that's upsetting though. Like, no, I was. Some... I'm gonna cry. I've had. Why? I've been so emotional. 
I've just been emotional. It's just been an emotional week. I there. I went to the comedy cellar where I am not past yet, mm-hmm. but I still want to be there and the like mix. hang so out. Nice, yeah. 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 So I went there after my set. It was late. It was like 11.30. And there were four comics hanging out, and I know all of them individually. I've worked with all of them on the road. Mm-hmm. One in particular I thought I was pretty good friends with. Are I, these names we would know or just their local people? Uh, no. Okay. They're not like they're not huge names, but amongst comedy, they're doing pretty well. Sure. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, the one person, I've done their podcast. I've texted them about comedy stuff. I've worked with them on the road. I've, like, had coffee with them when I've come to... Uh, New York before, and Todd Berry. No, and we're like the four of them are Barry, very what much. What are you doing sitting at this table? With us? <laughs> well, because he can be a little prickly. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, Todd and I actually get along really well, yeah. and which is a very strange friendship that right. we do. So the four of them are very much being the four of them, and I'm kind of just like around, which felt awkward to begin with because Is I'm this like, at the restaurant above the cellar or you No, like this in, is in the room of is this the, cellar the fat or the, black pussy cat. Okay, okay. So the the one next door. It's yeah. like being in high school where you're on yeah. watching another group of people have kind a conversation. Of, but I thought we were all friends. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. So I'm like standing there and it it is kind of an outsidery feeling, which I'm like, well this is weird, but whatever, you know. And then um it just became more and more obvious that the four of them were talking. And backs were kind of starting to get turned. And I was like, what did I do? Like, did I, mm-hmm. did I do something to upset somebody? And then as we're leaving, the person that I thought I was the closest with hugged another person goodbye and, like, whispered in their ear. And the person they hugged immediately shot me a look. And I was like, oh, so you're very clearly talking crap about me. Like, Well, why do you think they were talking crap? Maybe they were like, this girl is so funny. No. Don't, don't tell her because I don't want her to get a big head. <laughs> that would not, That's not how that works. I want her to find out on her own. I think Nick on the live stream figured out who it is. You mean Brian they're not? Regan. <laughs> yeah, it's Brian Regan. <laughs> you mean they're not all supportive all the time? Mm-hmm. But it, They're not I all don't think there it, to. It would have hurt my feelings if I didn't think my this person and I were friends. Right. And they like, it was so obvious. Like the other person where I'm like, dude, you're 40. You know if someone's talking crap not to immediately lock eyes with yeah. the person they're talking about. So this isn't a person you could go to and go, hey, um, I got a weird vibe from, I you know. would, but I don't want to make it worse. If they like already maybe don't really like me and I misconstrued <laughs> what We are off to a great start, boy. We are off to an like amazing having coffee start. with this person yes. and you know, texting back and forth. Like, that's not... They uh, text me first about things yeah. where they, they were like asking about the social media team that I used. A yeah. David Chappelle. Ago. It was Dave Chappelle and Bobby Pitts together. Mm-hmm. Bobby Pitts hugged Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle shot me a look and uh-huh. I didn't know how to take it. Yep. But it, it like, kept me up at night because I was like, should I text them and be like, hey, that was kind of weird, right? Or should I just, like, try not to take it personally because, like, everybody's got so much going on. It might not have even been about me. Maybe they were whispering and just but if, I mean, yeah, that, that, that would be weird, too, I, I if they like, happen to look at you. And right. you just, if you're yeah. feeling this bothered, I think you should talk to them about it and just be like, hey, I, I— But then it, doesn't that make it worse? No, not really. No, I, it doesn't I, have to. If you were like, hey— I might be out of my brain here, but I thought I was getting a really weird vibe, and I just want to make sure that I that we're all everybody's cool. Well, and then that's and what I, also I mean. puts the ball in their court to be like, hey, we know you know you did make me feel bad, and if they like but if that was their I intention, don't know that they care. And here's what I'm realizing: yeah. this is the hardest part about moving there, is that I've. Uh, you guys know I have a lot of, quote, best friends or people that I would refer <laughs> to as friends. Yes, Mary has multiple best friends, and I'm like, so maybe I'm thinking I'm closer with these people than I actually am. And so I'm like, maybe I'm just their Ohio friend where mm-hmm. it's like, yeah, we can be friends on the road. Yeah. But we're not friends in New York City. Right. And I'm like, well, that kind of sucks. If yeah. that, it's like in a teen movie where like the nerdy girl and the popular girl live next door to each other. But, but like, it's cool. Yeah. Friends, but like, yeah. don't talk to me in the cafeteria. Like that was very much what it felt like. Huh. And it was it was like, a, I don't know. It just yeah. it really, really bothered me. And then on top of, like, already feeling, you know, I talked to my sister about this. I was like, I've never felt insecure in comedy before, ever. Yeah. I have never for a second felt like I didn't belong or I wasn't good enough or I, like, I've never felt like this. So this is just the first time that I'm feeling like, oh, maybe I am the outsider. Maybe oh, you, nobody I mean, cares. Yeah. I mean, you know. Like, well, know. you're, you're around are, people that have been there for a while, and too. There and there are cliques, and there are there is a lot and of I that. I get that. Yeah. And I'm like, 
Uh, these people are going to jump all over this. 211 and people are going to be like, Mary's already crying. Yeah. I don't have any friends. <laughs> yeah, but you're locked in, aren't you? You're locked in. You're entertained. Either if you don't like her crying, you are like, what happened next? I don't have any friends and it sucks. People came all over me. <laughs> everybody's so busy and everybody's so wrapped up in their own BS that like, you're friends for the 45 minutes that you're in the same room. Yeah, that's perfect amount of friendship. No, I, I get mean, what friends are overrated. Nobody, dude. Well, like my roommate yeah, that I, I see mean... in the mornings for two hours. Like, yeah. I'm just very heavy feeling missing home. I'm just missing yeah. coming home to my boyfriend and his daughter and going out in places where people know who I am and right. and knowing, yes, these people are my friends. Whereas here, it's kind of like, oh, I guess. Not nobody cares, but like for people that I thought yeah, they're I was showbiz friends, friends with, yeah. to which like, is like half a friend. They're showbiz kind friends. Kind of cold shoulder me was like, oh, that is the last thing on earth that I thought was going to happen. Well, the thing too is, uh, well, first of all, do you want us to be meaner to you so it makes you more used to New York? No, so I don't. We, we, <laughs> I don't. Can we all just treat you poorly here so that you're like, okay, now I have no one anywhere, so no. it's just Mary versus the world. We're gonna freeze <laughs> okay. you out. Yeah, so you develop a patina no, when you but, go back. But there's also probably people that are jealous of how things are going for you and like but these are people who are like comedy seller babes they, like but they don't care like, they don't they are not envious of the spots that i'm getting they're There's not envious no of the spots but they might be is. envious of how funny you are i don't know about that i don't know about that it didn't feel like that it yeah. felt very much like just mean girl just just not even mean but just or like mean what person are you doing <laughs> like why i don't know yeah. it was uncomfortable and i'm like I very well could be making something out of nothing. It could be nothing. It could be they could be talking about the guy who was standing next to yeah, me. Yeah, because if you don't know, if you don't ask some question, it's just gonna keep eating at you. At the very yeah. least, you'd be like, "Hey, I don't want to be weird, but I thought this, and it seemed weird, and yeah. I don't know." Showbiz friends, baby. That's that a perfect sucks. amount of friendship. That sucks. Forty-five minutes of the clip. But not when you're not coming home to anybody, or you mm. don't have any friends anywhere else. Yeah. When those are the only social interactions you're yeah. having. That's why you, know you what have I mean? a cat. Yeah. Yeah. You guys make fun of me for that all the time. Well, now we'll make fun of you for it less. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> because Mary's going home to her <laughs> cat, who will never freeze her out. Or never. is it always freeze her out? I forget. Cats. It goes back and forth. Oh, they're so crazy. Uh, all right, let me take a break here. If you want to send a text, 35192 to do that, alancockshow.com. You can watch live, and we'll be back. This is The Alan Cox Show. Everywhere on our free iHeartRadio app or whatever.